you so much for all the support you gave me, guys. Okay. Today, I got promoted. Wow. Those who spread goodness radiate happiness to everyone around them. Introducing LOLC Finance Credit Cards. Fuel the goodness in you. Hi, I'm Bino. Hi, I'm Shahili. And we will be answering Living's burning questions today. Um, Binu, what were your first impressions of me? Um, I think we met back in school. Yeah. Um, so I think first impression was she was the cool kid who knew um, what to say and was very outspoken. <laughs> I think I think when we were in year four, I think we were in the same class as yes. well. Yeah. And I think I thought you were the coolest person there because you were so outspoken and you basically spoke your mind. Yeah, I yeah, nothing much has changed, I suppose. Yeah, not um, at all. When I met Binu, also yeah, we were in school together. So I think it was like grade four, like Binu mentioned. Uh, she was really, really smart. So I still remember Binu. I was like, "Oh, how do we do this? How do we do that?" And then she was like, "Oh, we can do it." So I remember her being extremely clever. Uh, Binu, if you had to describe me with just a couple of words, how would you do it? So I'd say creative, stylish, and enthusiastic. Um, and if I was to describe Binu, I would say clever, trustworthy, loyal. Can you name something like a trait or a behavior unique to the other person? Uh, you are bloody overly cautious. <laughs> I don't yeah, know if it's a trait <laughs> unique to you, but you're overly cautious. Yeah, but I think. When it comes to you, I think I have to always think about, oh my God, what she, what is she going to do next? So I guess it's, I guess that's where we balance each other as well. Uh, what was the idea behind the Design Collective? So um, Design Collective was thought about five years ago. I was, I'm still living in London, but I was still living in London at the time. I had come back for a holiday. And I realized there were not many places to shop. It's not that we didn't have places to shop. There, there were incredible places to, to shop. But it's just that there was very limited, limited choice in Colombo. Um, I was here trying to look for um, clothing and accessories. And I realized I had to go from studio to studio. So then I wanted to create this concept store, bringing loads of designers. Uh, primarily at the time, I wanted to focus on women's wear. So I wanted to bring all these incredible women's wear, local fashion houses together with jewelry and other things. Um, and that's when I had this idea of bringing, forming uh, this concept store called the Design Collective. At the time, Binu had done her master's at LCF and she had now moved back to Sri Lanka on a more permanent basis after doing her undergrad in uh, India at NIFT studying design and then she went on to do fashion marketing. I had a strategic marketing background, so more business school background but more marketing side. So I did that for my undergrad and then my master's at Imperial and I wanted to set this up but I also needed um, a partner who I knew who I could trust and who was going to be loyal because I was not going to be here full time, uh, but also who was on like my wavelength. So Binu was working at the time and I kind of like filled her brain with all of these ideas and made her quit her job to uh, start this company together and that was five years ago. Uh, Binu, our brand design collective, recently celebrated uh, our fifth anniversary. Could you tell us a little bit about the journey? Um, so I think from its inception, I think the first year I would say was the easiest for us in comparison. Like I think a lot of other companies would say the other, other way around. Way, yeah. But I think from the second year onwards, we had Easter tags, then we had COVID, COVID for two years uh, or longer. And then we had obviously the crisis that we've 
we've gone through and still kind of still going, going through. Going through. <laughs> yeah. So I think it was a very very bumpy ride, but I wouldn't have like taken it any other way. Like you know, I wanted the company to grow and we are here today celebrating 5 years. talking about different collaborations we brought together talking about the designers we brought together building this space having an e-commerce uh moving to a more global platform through our e-commerce so i think we've done quite a bit through this journey and i think there's a lot more to go as well absolutely um like we know said it hasn't been very smooth but most startups it, it's not that it, it is smooth but i it has just been like the environment has been like even more challenging than normal no one like not many companies before had to face this many obstacles so i show i we have a lot of uh, empathy towards everyone else who also started a company during this very turbulent time uh, but we're very excited for the next couple of years ahead we've done some amazing collaborations the one that we're sitting in front of in particular uh, between dashi and anuj sharma so buddhi batik and uh, button masala is something that we're really proud of um so we want to do more collaborations like this okay so what is the most unforgettable thing that you have what we have done together um well in context of like design collective i think like our f- like our first launch like yeah, starting design collective sure. that's like 2019 august that was like so epic like there were like over 500 people at the store no one could actually get in get out it was crazy like it was so packed you couldn't breathe like it was kind of like like uh, like you know like, like a crazy wedding and no one could like get in or out so that was really cool uh but obviously there are so many like funny funny stories from school because we've known each other since we were 6 years old yeah i think uh i think i definitely go with the launch day because yeah. i don't think i even met half the people who said that they were there yeah, yeah. because <laughs> it was so packed like yeah. i couldn't get from one side of the store to the other yeah, side yeah so i couldn't get in or out it was like yeah. so hot also as creative professionals you require a lot of creativity to keep you going especially in the fashion design industry um how do you manage that um i very luckily because i still live in london i feel like you're exposed to a lot all the time so i draw inspiration from just like literally just walking on the road and you just see so many cool people dressed in certain ways that i pick up uh just also like the their incredible stores i always go like window shopping to go and see like what's there also i spend like probably far too much time on tiktok and instagram bullying our marketing team saying why haven't you done this why haven't you done this why haven't you done this so i think um digitally we there's a lot to to get inspiration from but also like not only london like you can get inspiration from like wherever you travel right even in sri lanka from looking at uh, architecture to um the interior like you can just draw inspiration from like loads of places and i am a really good idea person and you're a really good executor which is why i think yeah. this works really really well so i have like a idea bank of always like a thousand ideas in my head um but if i wish we had a bigger team the most amount of embarrassing moments I'm not sure yeah <laughs> maybe yeah maybe you maybe me <laughs> <laughs> who is most stylish who possesses the most annoying traits uh, I 
goes both ways, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, you know, I was like, oh, maybe I'm more annoying, but yeah. <laughs> no, I can be equally annoying. Yeah, sometimes. you're equally annoying, yeah. actually. So, yeah, go. Who has the most weirdest dreams? I'm not hey, sure. That, I'm actually not sure. Yeah. Who is most likely to cry during a sad movie? Me, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I cry for everything. <laughs> Who uses the most amount of emojis in their text conversations? That could be me. <laughs> I think me. Yeah, you maybe. just say, okay. Yeah, that's also true. I just say one word. She says only one word. I will write her yeah. essay and then <laughs> yeah. she'll say, okay. <laughs> Who is most likely to forget your birthday? Uh, no, we have never uh, forgotten yeah. birthdays. Who is most likely to be the first one up in the morning on a girl's trip? By me. Yeah, we know. Who is most likely to become a stand-up comedian? I don't think. Definitely not me, so. Yeah, not me either, so no one. Who sings the loudest? I don't sing. Uh, I hardly sing also. At least you sing a bit. Sing a bit, so yeah. me. Who is most likely to get a new tattoo? Uh, no. I would never get a tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> That's out. Who is most likely to trip and fall when they get high? Me. Yeah. Who is most likely to run out of a haunted house? Me. Yeah, maybe me also. Maybe Not really yeah. into haunted yeah, things. Yeah, actually, both of us. Yeah. Both of us. Who is the better wing woman? Me for sure. He nope. depends. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Definitely me. <laughs> okay, we'll give it to you. <laughs> Who is most likely to commit a crime? Oh no. No one. We're like so scared. <laughs> yeah. And even if we do commit a crime, I, I think we'll do it together. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're like really scared. Yes. <laughs> Who is best at keeping secrets? Both. Yeah, both. Who is most likely to have a wardrobe malfunction? Me. The more malfunctions, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember a few now. Yeah. Many. Even today. Yes. This is today. Who is a spendthrift? What did you say? Sorry? Spendthrift. Who oh. is a spendthrift? Yeah. This one. Who is most likely to run a marathon? I don't think any. There's there's, well, there's, no there's more chance of you running a marathon than me, so <laughs> there's no way I will run a marathon. So okay, maybe not a marathon. So, so no one. Who is most likely to spend all weekend binging on a new TV series? Both. I think the one of us, yeah. yeah. Same. Who is most likely to win this game? Both? Yeah. Can we both win? Exactly. I think we should both win. Yeah. There you have it. These are our answers to the questions and the game. Uh, make sure to check out Living's Instagram and Facebook pages for their latest episodes of Living Gets Real.